Hello and welcome back to Student Hub Live. Well, this session is called Making Sure Your Student Voice is Heard. And I am joined by Fanny Zumba, who is the Vice President for Engagement for the Students Association, one of your elected student representatives, and uh, James Mooney, who is the Access, Participation and Success Manager for the Open University in Scotland, and Rachel Garman, who is a Senior Manager for Student Voice in the Office of the Pro Vice Chancellor Students. So welcome today. And we started today with uh, Liz Ma, the Pro Vice Chancellor for Students, talking to us about student voice and why that was so important. Um, so, Rachel, can I start by asking you, um, what does that actually mean um, in terms of student voice and why is it so important to the university? What will they do with it? So, student voice, um, how we describe it at, at the OU is the multitude of different ways that students can get involved in changing the student experience. So everything from completing a survey to telling us whether um, your experience with the help centre was helpful, uh, right up to sitting on a committee, taking part in an online forum based consultation or um, uh, working directly with staff on a project to improve the student experience and the reason it's so important is because only students really know what it's like to be a student so it's really important that we hear from students how they're getting on with their student experience where we could make a difference um, one of the main priorities for the open university is making sure that all our students um, get the right opportunities to meet their study goals and um, we need to know how they want to do that, whether their student experience is working for them. And, and that's why it's really important for us to hear, hear those views. But there's also benefits in terms of helping students feel part of a community and also some new skills to be learned from being involved in um, student voice activities. Now, we've heard from some colleagues, Rachel, today. Um, uh, Zoe was telling us about um, uh, the VLE and online rooms, and we heard about ways that you could just use that little feedback um, when you were on your module website to tell us what you thought of something. We've also heard about various forums and areas people can get involved. But there is a specific student voice week. So, so what makes that different then from the normal way in which we want students to contribute? So there are opportunities all year round to be involved in these things. So as as you've pointed out, you know, on the um, website, ticking the clicking a box or just giving it filling in a survey in student voice week there's going to be a whole load more other opportunities to get involved in um, different activities be it some online conferencing where we you know you'll get to talk about um, uh, maybe how your assessment practice works or how your tuition's going for you or um, different forums that will pop up. There'll be some events on social media that people can get involved in. And we're bringing a lot of different activities, trying out some new things and really want to hear um, from a diversity of students, whether, you know, whether people have just started or whether they've been studying for six years or more and reaching the end of their, their, their journey. Um, everyone's got something to offer. And even if it's from the tiniest thing to the biggest thing that you'd really like the Open University to change and to do, we, we, there'll be opportunities to get involved in lots of different things, different times of the day, online, um, and uh, you know, either at a particular time or throughout the course of the week. Really excited about that opportunity. But so am I, because we're going to have a student hub live, uh, student voice part of the week, um, because we'd like to know what students would like from us here. But there are other things, Rachel, aren't there, that people can suggest if they'd like some sort of discussion? Because it sounds to me that these are like focused discussions around particular areas. So you may not necessarily need to have a say, but you think, oh, I want to go and talk about assessment or tutorials because I've done some of those things. So students could feed in, but they could also feed ideas about topics um, for discussion, couldn't they? Yes, we. Um, it's really important to us that students get involved in setting the agenda for for our student voice activities. It's not just about what the university wants to hear from you. It's um, it's what do you think we should be changing. So yes, we're we're really looking for ideas from students about. Um, what they want to be involved in um, and and what what sort of channels um, would suit suit you um, students because we know that some people prefer um, to type some people prefer to talk um, 
what times of day, that sort of thing. We, we'd love to hear from students about about that and, and what Brilliant. sort of And how, how do students tell us those things? How will they tell us those things, Rachel? Well, we're hoping they'll put some in the in the chat box here today, um, but they can also look at our Student Voice website and um, we can we can have some opportunities there to, to make sure they can get in touch with us. And um, yeah, we, we'll be rolling out a whole programme of activity that people should look out for. I'll tell you what they'll say, Rachel. They'll say, we're going to have a conversation about whether Jaffa cakes are a type of cake or not. So that sort of conversation comes up. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Well, we'd like them to talk specifically <laughs> about their student experience because sadly in this online world, we're not able to dictate biscuit choice or cake choice indeed. Um, so, but, you know, we'd like to, to hear, you know, to, about tuition, about assessment, about online module materials, about um, the materials, how, how we communicate with students and whether that's working um, for them. And there's so many different aspects to the, the student experience that, um, yeah, we'd love to hear from students what, what they want to talk about and want to talk to us. Um, you know, particularly for students who are just starting out, we'd love to hear you know, how was that initial experience? Are you ready for study? Did we help you get ready for study? So lots of different things we'd like to do. Brilliant, excellent. Well, put those ideas in the chat, except the biscuits idea, but you can talk about that now if you'd like to. But let us know if there's something that you think would be a really worthwhile topic. Um, and if you don't want to put that in the chat now, but it comes to you in the middle of the night, which often my best ideas do, you can email studenthub at open.ac.uk and we'll ping that right over to Rachel's team. So, Fanny, I wonder if I could come to you now and talk a little bit about some of the ways that you've been involved um, and, and also some of the ways that other students can be involved in getting their voices heard. Um, so I think for me, um, the main thing about student voice is that there has to be a variety of, as Rachel spoke about it as well, a variety of ways for people to be involved. Um, and when I, before I got elected, um, I was also still involved. Um, and that included things like being on a conference organizing committee, which meant that I could make sure that we had places funded for students to actually attend the conference that we were organizing, because obviously our students are not all based around campus. Um, another really good way um, is being a representative on university committees, which you can apply for every year. Um, it's a relatively small commitment. It's about three to four days a year um, plus training. And you get to really have a say in all the nitty gritty bits and find out everything that's going on um, within your qualifications. Um, you can also attend student consultative, consultative meetings, which James will obviously talk more about. Um, but I think it's it's been a main highlight for me every time I got involved because it actually means that you get to be um, together with other students real time in normal times. Uh, but also the forum allows you to dip in and out as you want to. Um, so just to mention some of those. Brilliant. Lots of different options. So you've been involved with those. How, how has it benefited you personally? I think when I started three years ago, you could say I was quite shy. Um, now nobody would say that because I've stopped being shy. I think it really teaches you that if you want to make a difference, then if you speak up and it is possible, then the OU or the association obviously will do anything to kind of make it happen and listen to your voice. And even if they can't, then obviously they will let you know why it's not possible at this time or consider it for the future. And I think, especially when you're sitting on a committee, there is so many kind of complex papers. If you're going into the road of work, then it does provide you with a lot of skills in, in that way as well. And, you know, you just get to kind of find out about everything that's going on. And if you're a nosy person, it's quite good to be part of that community. Brilliant. Well, we've um, been asking people at home what sorts of activities they would like to see at Student Voice Week. So let's take a look and see what ideas they've had.
Top of the list here is mental health. That is a subject very close to many of our hearts and is something we're going to be talking about um, in the next but next session um, from here. So do stay tuned. But there are other things here, study tips, um, a virtual Halloween, so ideas about things that could be done. Jaffa cakes or cake, yeah. Um, study advice, um, stress relief, projects guiding networking, about forums, a Zoom party, club activities, um, a tips swap night. That's a brilliant idea. Discord servers, <laughs> um, uh, writing uh, carriers, society of the future. HJ, any other ideas coming through in the chat from people? Um, well, <laughs> I just think the ideas about having a virtual Halloween is absolutely fantastic. I was a bit worried that Halloween wasn't going to be as good this year. But I think if we have a virtual Halloween and everyone in the chat joins, it's going to be absolutely amazing. <laughs> but uh, we do reckon we have some suggestions. Mainly they revolve about having modules on cake. And uh, we also reckon that there should be a degree on procrastination. But the problem is the mass of procrastinators will never enroll on it. So <laughs> there's no point to say. <laughs> No, there isn't. I love the idea of a virtual Halloween party. Tell me more about that. We'll see um, if there's a way in some way in the university of making something like that happen. It sounds uh, much better than uh, Halloween's here always raining. So I always hate going out. But I guess one of the benefits of being stuck inside is we could maybe be dry. So let us know about that. Um, James, I wonder if you can tell us more about the, um, the student consultation, um, because this is another really interesting way that students can get involved in something. Um, sounds a bit sort of formal and stuff. What, what what is a student consultation and, and why is it good to be a part of it? Yeah, of course. Well, uh, student consultations are just one of many ways in which students can get involved. And they tend to take place during the springtime each year and there's a mixture of face-to-face -face consultation events and online consultation events. And I was lucky enough uh, back in March um, this year, um, lost track of what's happening this year but back know, in March I this year, nearly but, over <laughs> I know well just before lockdown we were we were lucky enough to have an event in Glasgow uh, with around 20 OU students who traveled from all around Scotland and it was brilliant to be able to meet them face to face it was fantastic that they gave up the time to come and talk to us and make things better for themselves and for everyone else and there was a mixture of students who were brand new to the OU and some of whom had been studying with us for a, a, a huge amount of time. And they came together with um, some OU in Scotland staff, including our director, Susan Stewart, um, some students association staff and representatives. Uh, we had lunch and we had discussions on a range of different topics. Um, a couple of the main ones were on tuition so we really wanted to find out more about what students thought about tuition and how it could be made better and about the ways in which the OU communicates with its students. And we got some absolutely fantastic feedback at that event and it was really meaningful and will really feed into changing things for everyone. Brilliant. Now, those are topics that I guess make sense. You'd expect to see those as topics for conversation. But James, I wonder if you could tell us about something that was key on that on that word cloud, mental health, um, because in the nations, we, we often speak, pick specific projects or things that we, we want to pilot in different areas of the UK, or we, we look at particular needs. Now, you've been doing some really interesting work um, around mental health and, and the mental health strategy in Scotland. Can you tell us briefly about that? And again, why that dialogue with students has, has helped implement some of those ideas? Yeah, I, I can. Um, so up here in, in Scotland, in the OU, we have a student mental health agreement that we're due to be launching uh, next month on World Mental Health Day, appropriately. And it's really, really important to us that that agreement was the result of partnership working uh, between ourselves, the Open University in Scotland, our Students Association and with NUS Scotland as well. Um, and it really helped to have the student voice in there right from the very beginning so that we're sure that the objectives that we're working towards are the things that people really need and the things that people are really, really interested in. So it was so much more of a, a meaningful exercise with, with that involvement all the way through in, in a true kind of partnership 
Wonderful. That sounds absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for that. And, and students can find out more about the student consultation and student voice. Rachel, can you just sort of highlight again where students might find that? And, and the one thing I wanted to end with, Rachel, was to ask, you know, now that you've seen this word cloud of, may I say, excellent ideas, although they are talking about the, uh, the merits of uh, virtual Hall uh, apple bobbing now for Halloween. Um, but we did have some wonderful ideas there. What are you going to do with some of those ideas? And uh, again, how can students reconnect with both the Student Voice Week and the Student consultations James has been focusing on? Yeah, so all the opportunities that we offer to be involved um, as sort of Fanny outlined, just from the tiniest to, you know, c committing quite a few hours to work in partnership projects, we offer through the Student Voice website, which if students click on the community tab on Student Home, uh, that will give you a link into the Student Voice website. So not only do we have opportunities on there, we also explain um, our approach overall and we um, also we close the feedback loop. So students can tell that actually what they've said has made a difference with a whole series of you said we did from across the departments which say because you told us this we have changed that and it will make a difference to improve the student experience so I'm really excited to look at the word cloud see what people have proposed really interesting um, we have consulted on how we support students better with mental health before and we will definitely want to do so again because we want to know if what we're doing works and only students can tell us if if what we're offering works for them so yeah really looking forward to that and and interesting that some of the community ideas are coming through as well because the OU although we are all over the world all over the UK we are a community of students and staff and um, it'll be nice to really underline that during student voice week and I think that's a great opportunity to do that brilliant well Rachel James and Fanny thank you so much for coming along Fanny we're going to talk about opportunity to get involved with the um, OU Students Association in the next session so I'm going to claw back a bit of time due to our technical gremlins today but thank you all so much that's been a really really interesting session I hope you at home um, realize not only the importance that your voice has but also how you can get involved and let us know what you think in particular if you're brand new to the Open University we'd love to hear from you so any thoughts any feedback on that but also any ideas do email studenthub at open.ac.uk.